yesterday to get that all set up, um, but well worth my time, I'll say. Tent, fire pit over there. Let me tell you, it's really hard to convince yourself to get out of the tent when it sounds like this outside. <laughs> it's really raining right now. Um, it's been raining on and off all night, but it, it kind of comes for half an hour to an hour, and then it stops for half an hour to an hour, so kind of have to convince yourself to get up and get out there. It'll be fun, I guess. <laughs> it's raining so hard. I looked at the tent and all you can see is just a sheet of water coming down. So, I'm just gonna hang out in the tent until it at least let, lightens up a little bit. It's only supposed to rain, according to the forecast, between a tenth and a quarter of an inch today. I think we're at about a half an inch in the last hour. <laughs> We'll see, I guess. So here's where we're at. Um, opening morning of archery season. And uh, it rained on and off all night last night. Um, you know, it rained for 45 minutes, stopped for 45 minutes. I was kind of hoping it'd continue that today, which is what the forecast called for. But since about an hour before daylight, it's just poured non-stop the whole day. Uh, I can tell you I'm very glad I stashed this, I have a 16 by 12 foot tarp in here. <laughs> and, uh, luckily, I'm going to head out and hopefully find uh, some deer moving. Um, I know, I mean, obviously blacktails will feed in the rain, uh, but this is the first big storm in a couple weeks now, so I'm... I set up this trail camera in early July. I saw a buck right there. And less than two months later, look how much the deer have torn that up. Some trees that ended up in this creek bed here. Uh, 
those trees back there is where I waited. Um, able to fill up my water bottles and uh, gonna head back up to the big meadow, see if any deer are moving. Starting to get sick of not seeing anything. Keep working it. Drying things off. I'm gonna be brutally honest here. I'm really sick of not seeing deer. <laughs> um, I'm okay with the rain. I'm okay with the fog. I'm okay not seeing the big bucks. But I'd like to at least see something. I haven't seen a deer yet today. I even a grouse to shoot at. I did see a goat. And that's it so far. So. Uh, really hoping the deers, I can figure out where the deer are, because I don't think it's that they're not moving, I think it's that I'm not in the right spot. They're not where they were last year. So hopefully I figure something out soon. So right before that fog came in, I had spotted a big old black bear about 400 yards away down there. So, uh, see if the fog burns off and probably gonna go after it. I haven't decided for sure. <laughs> I said I wanted to shoot a bear in here, but that was before I hunted two straight days without seeing a deer or a buck. We'll see. Well, I saw a deer over there, where that, close to that bear, but it was too foggy to tell if it was a buck or a doe. So I'm gonna get closer. See if I see if it, see if I can find the deer. Maybe get a shot at the bear. We'll see. <laughs> kind of bored of not seeing deer right now, so I figure I might as well, right? Things are finally starting to look up a bit. Um, courage and just headed back to camp and I sat on the ridge here to see if my bear was back, which he is, he's over there right now. And uh, glanced up that way and there was a doe bedded there. So I pulled up my binoculars and up from here in the doe stands up a spike. I was like, okay, that's fun. And then all of a sudden I noticed to the left of them, about 50 yards, um, the doe and spike were both in their summer coats, so they really stood out. Uh, all of a sudden, another deer stood up, and it was totally in its winter coat already. Uh, and it was a, I don't know how big of a buck, um, but above the ears, ear width at least, if not a little wider, and totally hard horned. So, um, I tried working towards them, but I was in the wide open when I spotted them. And I made it like three steps, and they, they saw me, they are about 300 yards away. 
they saw me and just turned and walked into the woods. So let them be. I'm going to go see if tomorrow morning, I mean, hopefully they're back. That'd be awesome. At a very minute, I'm going to go to where they were. And it's higher than I've been so far. Um, try side hilling through that country. I know there's some open little meadows in there and stuff. Hopefully we can find them. And by the way, the bear is right there. about another 40 yards and you may be able to see behind me but it just keeps getting steeper so even with the whippet I'm solo it's just not worth it so I'm gonna head back um, keep working slowly and they're in here somewhere hopefully feeding and uh, if I get lucky I'll stumble upon them if not no big deal spotted him and he got to about 120 130 but I was in some waist-high blueberry bushes if I head down to feed I would try to take a couple steps towards them hoping that you know their ears in the brush they would cover my noise but I don't think it did well enough no rain so nothing to cover my sound and even though this, the wind was good they kept they'd all of a sudden look at me, and then go back to feeding and look at me. And uh, eventually they had enough of it, and I uh, just turned and walked away um, out into this meadow. There's um, a couple big meadows right over that ridge there. And I'm hoping that's the direction they went. I'm gonna try to quietly, if possible, work my way over there, peek over the edge, see if they're still feeding over there, see if I got lucky. But more than likely, they build down to that stuff, which I'll never find them in. But, hey, at least it's fun to see some deer.
get some weather on Saturday. It cleared up a bit yesterday, and then it rained again last night, so I'm hoping that covered up the full moon enough to keep these deer moving this morning. Unfortunately, it's really foggy, so hopefully that clears off. We'll see. Well, 2016's in the books. Um, so isn't the biggest buck I have on camera. I actually have uh, two that are bigger than this. But I have a really hard time passing on four points. And uh, he's in a good spot. I have help up here to help me pack it out, which is always convenient. And I like how he looks, so <laughs> I'm not complaining. Um, Came around the corner right above me here. I was on that side of the ridge. He was over here, so 60, 80 yards somewhere in there. And it was raining. He couldn't hear me. Couldn't smell me. Didn't know I was there. Gave me a, few, a couple minutes actually to get set up, feel comfortable for the shot. And then, as you can see, one next shot. He was down right in the spot. So um, got some work ahead of me packing this thing up. But good day. Good day when you get a deer. Snowing. I'm tired. My back hurts. But I got antlers on my back. And meat. Meat for dinner. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> 